am not really a fan of store-bought strawberry ice cream, but homemade strawberry ice cream, now you lifted my skirt because I love this stuff. So today on Divas and Cook, we're making it fresh strawberry ice cream. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start by making our strawberry puree. I'm gonna dice up some fresh juicy strawberries and add them into my little food processor here. Go ahead and just dump those in there. And next, I'm gonna add in a little bit of sugar to kind of sweeten things up a bit. All right, and then I'm gonna throw in some fresh lemon juice and then I'm gonna add in some orange liqueur. All right, this is gonna give us a bomb texture to our ice cream. Next, we're gonna throw in some cornstarch to thicken things up. And now we're just going to puree, puree, puree. And don't forget, you guys, you can find this recipe on my blog at divasandcook.com. So go on over there and check it out. It's ready to be printed. Everything, everything, okay? Okay, so here's our strawberry puree. I left it. I didn't puree it too much. I didn't want it to be too thin because I like it kind of thick and chunky like a southern girl. So yeah, leave a few chunks in there, all right? Perfect. Okay, now we're going to move on to our ice cream. I have some heavy cream. Throw that into a bowl. That heavy cream is nice and warm, by the way. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar because it is ice cream. It's got to be sweet, honey. All right, go ahead and just mix this on up until all that sugar is dissolved. And then I'm going to add in some half and half. You can use whole milk, you know, whatever's going to float your boat. But I like half and half because it's more fat. Okay, then we're going to add in some vanilla extract for a little flavor. Perfect. All right, mix that on up. And here it is. You know, it's kind of thick. I'm going to add in a little bit of salt. I also put in some lemon juice. I don't know where that clip went, but I added lemon juice to this as well, okay? Cover it up with plastic wrap and pop it in the fridge for about mm, two hours or until it kind of thickens up, all right? And after two hours, you see how it's kind of thickened up a little bit? That's perfect, all right. Now it's time to add in our strawberries. You can add it in just like a little bit or you can add all of it. I mean, just go ahead and add all of it, okay? I mean, why not? It's all right, throw it all in there, okay? That's perfect. Now I'm gonna crank up my little ice cream maker. I love this ice cream maker, it's so easy. I'll put the link below to where I got it from. Go ahead and pour that into your ice cream maker, and here it is after 10 minutes, here it is after 15 minutes, and here it is after 40 minutes. You only supposed to do like 30 minutes, but I left this thing running. I forgot about it, but yeah, it's nice and soft serve. You can totally eat like this. I love this texture, but my family likes it a little bit firmer, so I'm gonna add this into my little ice cream um, containers here. Smooth it out, so messy doing this. Trying to, you know, clean it up a little bit, make it look really pretty, okay? Pop it into the freezer until it's nice and firm, and then, voila, we have some beautiful, fresh, creamy, fluffy strawberry ice cream that is thebomb.com, okay? Let me tell you guys, oh my God, the texture of this ice cream is everything. You know I'm a texture girl, I'm such a texture girl. The texture of this ice cream is everything. It's like fluffy and soft, but yet firm and so light. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's perfect comfort food. And it has the perfect strawberry taste. Not too overbearing. It's just perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you missed my last two videos, go and check it out. I made French toast sticks and fresh peach tea. It was the bomb, honey. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video. Thank you guys for watching. Later.